The dragons will be reborn under a poison sky, and the world will be scorched by their rain. The slithering path becomes mired in a newborn hiss. The hiss of the discontent. Only the innocent may walk to the prize without being bitten. Dungeons and Dragons is a great game, but it can be even better with a little inspiration. In this video, we're going to show you how you can take your D&D game up a notch using omens and prophecies as a basis for your adventures. Now these can add a lot of flavor to your game and help players feel like they're really in a world where anything could happen. And remember, a brave watcher who subscribes sows the seeds of the harvest, and I see a great harvest coming soon. See you on the other side. I'm Baba Tucker. And I'm Jackson Dean Chase, and together we're Mage Gate Games. If you like role playing games and rolling dice, you're in the right place. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video. Today, talking about inspiration for adventures, omens, and prophecy. Hmm, yes, I can see your future. And it's looking really good because we have some great <laughs> ideas for you. Um, we have, uh, you know, uh, Jackson, this is one of one of my favorite books that we've made. I love all of our books, um, but we made our uh, rites and rituals. I know we had a wonderful process of going through and creating this together. Um, and uh, yeah, tell me why omens and prophecies are inspirational uh, for adventures. Oh, well, sure. I mean, if you have a omen or a prophecy, right? You have a seed for an adventure and you don't know for sure what the players, how they're going to interpret the seed, right? They're, they're going to, they're going to come across something and they'll have some information and whether they decide to take that literally too literally <laughs> or, you know, or go too metaphorical, you know, they, you never know what they're going to do, but it's going to give them food for thought and they're going to start like, you know, feeding on that seed and nibbling away and they're going to uh go on uh, down paths that you know you may not have seen them go down <laughs> it could be a lot of fun they're going to be shouting out ideas you know oh it means th i think it means this and you're like yeah yeah that yeah that's exactly what that means you know? <laughs> right and then they create the adventure for you basically for free right. you know um uh, the uh what's the difference between an omen and a prophecy right that's uh there's a lot of uh confusion about that and unfortunately we define them very clearly in the book uh an omen is a uh short-term sign that they see could be good could be bad uh you know like oh the white-tipped falcon flies at dawn brings doom to those who see it you know, uh, or something, you know, something like that, you know, so it, it's, it has an immediate effect. It will have, uh, it will play out within a few hours of when, when you see it. Right. And um, it's normally or, something like a character would, you know, they're looking for, right. You, yeah. you're always looking for the, uh, you know, the, the frog with two faces or something like that, the frog with no back right, or, or something yeah. like that. Right. Like, cause you know yeah. that that thing's either going to be uh the oh it's the right way or it's uh right like that's that's kind of the the thing as a gm you can put that in there and be like oh yeah um if it was uh you know, the white hawk um you know it, they might be looking for a literal white hawk or a metaphorical white hawk right that has that you know right. but uh you know it could be on a banner or it could be right. on you know a shield yeah. or something device. like that yeah. exactly and then people go oh, oh that's it right that's the thing oh and you know maybe we're supposed to go talk with that person oh or get information from that thing or follow that um and yeah it it can help you as a game master like point them in the direction of we're not railroading here none of us are trying to railroad okay but but gentle nudges gentle nudges <laughs> um and you know try to tie it into the background or you know something like that you know maybe uh a uh a certain enemy or faction has those things but they need to become part of that faction or right in like something mm -hmm. where you know it messes with the background and you know so the characters are invested in that omen as well like i, I love that 
you know, you can always have omens come up. You can always put omens in and always have that, like, that thing that just, you know, uh, keeps them looking for the next thing, the next goal, <laughs> whatever that is. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> just a little introduction. <laughs> And, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 and it could be, uh, yeah, as you were saying, part of their background. Maybe they come from a you know a certain tribe uh, or a shamanic tradition, a druid tradition, and uh, so these things are well known to them. You know, so they're always looking out for signs, uh, omens, or but it's a superstitious world that that all the characters live in. So yeah. it's it's not uh, it's not a big ask for regular people from all over the place who who are in cities or villages especially uh to have these superstitions yeah. and always be looking for the omens you know oh it's a good omen okay we can go and we can you know this 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 festival is blessed on this day because of whatever omen it was yeah so that's 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 omens and we've got uh random omen generators in there and uh, we also have, uh, for good and bad omens, uh, but we also have prophecies. And uh, we have, uh, how many, we have 100 prophecies in there? <laughs> I think it is. Yeah, um, I remember, I remember, yep. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, working on those. I was like, I gotta get to 100. Because uh, <laughs> we gotta bring the most value for you, right? Uh, we got to go hard on the prophecies. Um, and uh, so a prophecy is more of a long-term play, uh, right? So it could take years or decades or centuries to pan out. So then you have the luxury of saying, oh, well, a hundred years ago, Rothwin the, the blind saw the signs that, that uh, revealed to him that the demon lord Azabrax would come forth from the tomb that he was sealed in by Leglore, the Elder, uh, 150 years ago or whatever. And so now it's been that time. And now, you know, there are, all the signs are there. And you can make up whatever signs you want, you know. <laughs> and now you've got an adventure hook, right? So now they've got to go around and they've got to collect, like, all the different things to reseal the tomb, uh, you know, and put the Demon Lord back to, uh, back to the prison or whatever, you know, or free help free the demon, whatever floats their boat. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah and so that's uh that's a lot of fun you know you could have a prophecy for say uh one or more of the characters could be part of a prophecy right yeah you know maybe the ancestral prophecy right which could be tied to uh a thing that they have or right magical items or uh sure. right like uh even the group that they're a part of or things like that right like if if yeah. if like have their group be named something right if they are mm -hmm. the golden bears or something like that or <laughs> I don't know, golden bears it would be the the brutish bears or um <laughs> 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 something we'll, we'll work on naming later we'll work on naming the names later um yeah uh, but uh the golden ghouls Ding, ding, ding. We're so shiny. <laughs> We're so shiny. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, they're they're all uh, based off of the Golden Girls. Uh, um, but uh, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, you you can have that prophecy of you know having their name tied into. The them being like, whoa, wow, uh, I guess we're part of this prophecy, but was that like, but we came up with that. Somebody else didn't come up with the name. Oh, we did. So maybe that is that us? I don't know. Uh, and they can, you know, it's that I don't know if that's us or not. And that's the best part about prophecies is that you can be like, I don't know. Is this, are we supposed to be here? Are we the saviors? Or you know, and then put things that have them like question that. <laughs> All right, exactly. during the adventure, like, oh, maybe, maybe we aren't the ones. Maybe we need to find the ones to do it. Those type of things, yeah. Like right. I love everybody I, chosen. I, <laughs> I think I really enjoyed while we were making these that it was really uh, same thing. Is it literal or metaphorical? And all of these prophecies for me 
as I was making a lot of the, the ones had like something traveling somewhere to here, or like they will come, or they will awaken, uh, those things. And that could also like that could be a mental state. That could be like economical. You know, if we were talking about a drought happening, right? This could be an economical drought. This could be like you know, drought in a relationship. This could be, you know, spiritual drought. Spiritual drought. All of those things, right? So when you're going through this or going through uh, whatever prophecies you're making, try to think of like how you can in backgrounds or relate them to factions or uh, personal relation uh, to these things and what what that would be uh, looking like in the type of game that you want, right? Is this going to be a more of a political intrigue game that you want, right? Going back to uh, our inspirational uh adventures about talking about themes uh and uh yeah like those are our video talking about themes um and you know uh how those prophecies relate to that i think that's good things to keep in mind while you're creating your adventure um yeah i i i really love all of like love this book and i know it, we're, we'll talk about more of our books later we just don't want to like you know inundate you with all you know all this other stuff but like with a lot of books <laughs> yeah, there, there are a lot of books and and i i think you know jackson i i do want to say like i it's it's hard for me to sometimes share this stuff but i love our products and i love what they do and i love how much uh passion that we both put into the like they're like and all of them Give me inspiration, all of them. Uh, why don't Why don't we share some of the uh, the omens and prophecies with uh, with our community here? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have black goat dancing in the moonlight, portends the fall of houses. Um. So like, that one for me, like I I love it. Well, black goat dancing. You're like, is this a literal black goat? <laughs> right. Or is this like a, you know, um someone who's you know not seen as a very nice person in the in in the uh you know town or society that they're in um or right like is this a beast <laughs> of some sort some creature um uh and right. and dancing could be you know it that could be you know fighting that could be or or uh you know talking around certain right dancing could be so mm -hmm. many taken so many different ways right um, ritual and, movement yeah right ritual moves and and like uh moonlight this can be put in a, a whole bunch of different ways as well right uh right like oh he he moon moonlit as a this thing so it could be something that's uh on, on the other side of something right like this is uh behind the scenes of what they would normally do right um yeah. so this is uh like i re i really love i feel like I, as I'm saying, I just can read these things and go like, oh, I can go this way or this way or, or this way. Um, a good omen. A six-legged beast brings good fortune to those who walk its path. Um, so that that also, right? Like, is this yeah. an a actual beast or is this like a, a group of soldiers or, right? Like, there's so many... This like as i'm saying it's just like there's so many different things that you can use to like go through this is that or is it a um you know uh, like people holding a banner or, or uh yeah just so many different things to think about is that follow their path is that an actual path or is it like you know shamanic path or is this a wizard's path or you know the path of a warrior like it goes this way um so right. Right, so many different path of their profession. Exactly. Right. 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 Um. So yeah, we have uh, you know, rollable tables for that. That's I love that we have our uh. I don't know if my my camera is see it's very bright, but we have uh, a bunch of tables. Yeah, it's too bright with that one. Um, but <laughs> my, but a bunch of tables for uh rolling. Uh, like uh, generate these omens and. You know, just throwing a bunch of dice and getting omens, uh, that's also like inspiring, like in so many different ways. So yeah, let me uh go to the uh prophecies, and right uh, I don't know, 
I don't know. You want to you want to give me a a number out, one out of a hundred here? Um, seventy seven. Oh, seventy seven. That's a that's a good one. All right, seventy seven. Star Wars. <laughs> seventy seven. All right. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay. This one. <laughs> the witches will flee, and raise their children, on the crusted marsh. Their children will be born from the mud and answer the call of the mist. The mist will grow and blanket the land, and the children will follow, bringing death. Only a witch born can turn back the mist and its hungry children. Yeah. That um, sounds creepy as hell. <laughs> it's creepy as hell, all right? Like, oh my goodness, wait. Yeah, um, yeah so um a lot of time, like we can think of uh yeah uh their children is it like actual children or is it like uh familiars is it constructs yeah, sort of is it, yeah. right um but yeah once again this is this uh this could be a group of uh like people who might be looked at as witches to someone else right a right, a, right? like the oh this they're they're barbarians or they're, you know, savages or they're the, another type of religion that isn't theirs. Right. And they, right. they, they deem heretics. them heretics or things like that. Right. Yeah. Um, it could be warlocks. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there, there's that. And, uh, you know, when we think of, you know, uh, from the mud, uh, that could be, you know, um, uh, just a threshold. Or same with the mist, some sort of threshold, mm-hmm. right? So mud is normally uh, thick and hard to hard to move through. So is that um, you know things born from the mud? Is that born from conflict? Is that born from an an unknown source that is you know uh, that is unclean, right? Is born mm-hmm. from like could could be uh, dealings or uh, you know uh, some sort of other faction that came together. And this is they're being born from this deal, right? right? Um, that and you know, same with mist and obscuring thing, right? This this is hard to be seen through. So maybe it's a uh, if we're thinking like political intrigue, there there are being spies being planted everywhere. Um, they're right, like this is so much love it, <laughs> right? So so yeah, no. Eh, I'm sorry. This is very inspirational, and so for me, I'm already got to write this down. Excuse me, I gotta go. (laughs) (laughs) I got, uh, yeah, I got some more more things I I gotta do. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) So yeah, um, absolutely. I'm loving I'm loving this book so much. Um, and then being able to go, oh yeah, acid or you know. Are different extreme stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the uh, two hundred and fifty best magic items books. You know, you can yeah. find all kinds of magic items. There's, uh, you know, the Belt of the Mistborn. I think is in uh, yeah. the Barbarians yeah. uh, two hundred and fifty book. And uh, yeah, so there could be, or um, there's plenty of warlock items. Uh, yeah, <laughs> in the uh, in the Arcane Casters uh, book. But uh, yeah, it's. Uh, you could use that, you know, maybe they have to, or maybe they have to assemble some items to then, uh, you know, defeat whatever, uh, e- you know, evil is behind the prophecy there. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's, there's all kinds of inspiration to be had. Uh, and that's really what our, our books are all about is inspiring uh, game masters and players by extension, you know, um, you just look through the books and it's like, oh, wow. Okay. Cool. I got a bunch of ideas. I guess I better start writing them down. I mean, that's that's what we do when we're thinking up the books. Oh, yeah. another idea. I better write it down. Oh, start another list. Okay, now that's another chapter. Okay, great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's or that's a whole other book. Um, that's probably why we have so many. <laughs> I mean, we just can't stop. We can't. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's a curse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Indeed. Uh, it's also a blessing. It's a ble- no, this <laughs> a is totally, this a total blessing. <laughs> it's a curse for us to be so creative, but uh, it's a blessing <laughs> for you to be the beneficiary yeah. of all of our cursed output. 
so check out the books and let us know what you think and uh, you know drop it in the comments and, and let us know uh, what kind of books you'd like us to write and what you think of the books that we uh, have written and uh, yeah we'll be back soon with uh, with more videos about all kinds of uh, other role playing game topics adventures game master tips player tips and probably some more about our books sooner or later but uh, <laughs> maybe yeah, if you're lucky yeah. <laughs> if you're yeah if you're lucky, if you're lucky. we're going to tell you some more about our books yeah <laughs> uh, yeah yeah uh, you, you can you can count on that <laughs> we'll see you all next time at Mage Gate Games. Hey, everybody. If you'd like to see more things like this, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell icon. If you feel like supporting us and helping us bring more things to you and our community through the Mage Gate, go ahead and check out our links in the description below and join our Patreon. If you haven't picked up your free Heirloom Magic item PDF, go ahead and check out our website where you can get that for free. Uh, thank you so much again and see you in another video.